And that's why I love America. Captain America the Winter Soldier. So Captain America the Winter Soldier is the third movie in Marvel's Phase 2. It's a sequel to Captain America the First Avenger and also a sequel to The Avengers. A lot of people are really pleased with Captain America the First Avenger. I actually, I think I like it more every time I watch it. Of course everyone loves The Avengers. That movie is just incredible. This movie though, oh my gosh. This is definitely the best Phase 2 Marvel movie we've ever had. It might be one of the best Marvel movies in general that we've ever had. This movie steps it up in every way that a sequel should. First of all, Chris Evans is still great as Captain America. He gets to explore the character a lot more in this movie because, as he's told a lot of times in this movie, he can't trust anyone. And Captain America is used to the times where everyone was back in the 40s smoking their cigars and, you know, reading Captain America comics. The world has kind of moved on for that. We're not the same type of people we were back then. We're a lot more distrusting because 9-11 happened. And he's also able to nail those type of scenes that would really come off sappy if he didn't do them right. Like, he has this one speech near the end of the movie talking about, like, freedom and America and all that. And just, like, all throughout that speech, just sitting there and you're like, mmm. Captain America. This movie reminds me a lot of The Empire Strikes Back because it gives you a much closer study to the villains of this movie. You kind of see the inner workings of the government and everything and what's going on there. And so there's a lot of corruption going on there right now, so Captain America is kind of on his own. But he does have a little group with him also that kind of feels like a mini Avengers, sort of. Scarlett Johansson, of course, was great in this movie. A lot of people had issue with her back in, like, the Iron Man 2 days. She started to become a little bit more of a fan favorite in the Avengers, and in this one, she carries on with that same feel. Anthony Mackie as the Falcon is another really cool part of their little team. He's one of the few soldiers that Captain America actually trusts in this movie. He does have a couple lines that are played for comedic relief, and he did them really well. And his Falcon suit was such a cool element to this movie. At times it kind of reminded me of the Iron Man suit, but just when he's going around, he has his pistols, and he's like flying around like psh, 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 for some really sweet action scenes. One character who was part of their team I didn't know was in this movie. I don't necessarily think it's a spoiler to say that she's in this movie because they never made it like a really big reveal like, oh wow, Maria Hill is in this movie. But Maria Hill is in this movie, and again, she's one of the few shields agents that Cap's able to trust. That's pretty much his entire team, and with that, I'm kind of wondering, where was Hawkeye? Like, I know they can't have a lot of people in this movie because then it would just feel overinflated, but if Hawkeye is a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent and Cap obviously trusts him, I'm trying to figure out where he was during the events of this movie because a lot of dark stuff happens here. I don't know, I'm hoping that gets explained in the future. I don't really think that's a negative for the movie, like, oh, Hawkeye wasn't in the movie. But I'm just saying, if he was in the movie, it would have made a little bit more sense. That being said, you also have all the villains in this movie, the Winter Soldier, Robert Redford's character. Robert Redford's character, you don't trust him from the get-go. And like, the very first scene that you see him in, he's talking with Cap, and he's like, oh yeah, I made Nick Fury director of S.H.I.E.L.D. a couple of years ago. But he does play off the trusting type kind of well in this movie. I don't think his turn was very shocking or anything, but he was a really cool part of this movie also. Now the Winter Soldier in this movie, this dude is business. He's not in the movie much, he has very little dialogue, he just kind of pops around, he's causing a bunch of mayhem. He kind of reminded me of Darth Maul in The Phantom Menace, yeah, Phantom Menace is not a very good movie. But like in The Phantom Menace, they had him appear a couple times, they didn't really know who he was, they just knew he was a bad dude that needed to be stopped. And in the same movie, the Winter Soldier appears a couple times, the people don't know that much about him, and for the people that do know the identity of the Winter Soldier going into this movie, his big reveal was handled very well, even for those people. The action in this movie was incredible, it kind of reminded me of Ghost Protocol. You could tell pretty much everything that was going on with these characters in these action scenes. It was really cool to see because I actually like watching action, not just shaky cam. Also, the score by Henry Jackman was really cool. It reminded me a lot of, like, spy movies of the past. This movie has so many scenes that will have fans of these movies just cheering, jumping up, really having a good time. It's definitely one of the best Marvel movies ever made. I'm going to give Captain America The Winter Soldier an A. Also, there are two after credit scenes, just like Thor 2 and The Avengers had. Make sure you stay for them because they're really cool to watch, and I think you'll enjoy both of them. So what is a sequel to you guys that really stepped it up from the original movie. As in, what's your favorite Empire Strikes Back, The Dark Knight, Godfather Part 2? Any of those type of movies. Whatever that movie may be to you, comment down below. And thanks for watching this video. If you guys like it, you can click here to see more.